TV Sound System, you know what it is. Select Hype live and direct representing TV Sound System. You know what to do. Like, comment, share and subscribe. And remember, I've been telling you for a while, my videos are now becoming very few and far between. But when I do videos and I do interviews, I make sure I get the best of the best. I make sure I get the best quality. I make sure I get the best content. I make sure I get the best, the best information. I make sure I get the best exclusives. And we've done it again. First of all, I want to say thank you going out to the Heritage family for, uh, again, allowing me to set up my thing here and giving me the space and the opportunity to continue representing TV Sound System. So big shout out, reaching out to all the Heritage family. And we're here. It's mad. These men, they came prepared, people. <laughs> oh, they came with the merch. And when, I say, when I'm talking about the merch, I'm talking embroidery. <laughs> okay, so let's not get it twisted out here. I know there's a lot of people them doing the merch thing on some little vinyl thing. Mm -hmm. Them man, their thing is embroidered. <laughs> and uh, trust me, as, as somebody who has sound system clothing, I did a slight little check on the quality, and the quality is big, <laughs> and the quality is nice out there. Right now, we are sitting with two people who are absolutely dominating the whole, I wouldn't even say sound system. I would, I would just say the, in the entertainment world right now in the culture that we are in right now. And they're making big, big moves. They go by the name of New Movements International. How you doing, man? What's going down? Good, man. We're good, we're good. Outside, outside, select that. So we got DJ Hypes in the place. Yeah. And we've also got DJ Prince inside the building right about now. So first of all, how are you guys doing, man? What, what, what's the vibes right now? Feeling good, feeling good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, it's a good, it's a good Energy look. up right now. <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean, confidence, I go sky high. Yeah, it's crazy. It's, it's the new movements making the movements. Okay, so uh, do want, the way I wanted to do this, because it was, it's been a long time in the making. I spoke to you, Prince, um, on my Mixed Cloud channel, and we had a very, very good reasoning. Um, a lot of people then gave me some good feedback on that, the way how you spoke about how you grew up in Jamaica, what happened when you landed in England and did all your thing was an absolutely movie. Like, people, I'm going to put the link in the description. If you haven't seen that, you need to go and see that. So I'm going to touch on Prince a little more from this book. DJ Ipes. Yeah. <laughs> How you doing, man? Good, you know. I've seen good, good, you good. do your thing for a minute. There are a lot of people, them, who know DJ Ipes, you know, but never put the face to the juggling experience. So I kind of want to go back to the beginning. Like, where did it start for you as DJ Ipes, as a young person, and what made music be your journey right now? You know... It's, it's, it started very young. Cause I wish I grew up in a Jamaica. It's like, it's a, it's a music fest. Mm -hmm. You get me? You have a place called Reddy's Road where it's very, very festive in that way where artists, sound mm -hmm. system, everything was going on. Because yeah. from where I live, across the road from where I live, there was a studio and we used to see artists on a daily basis. So you, you grew me? up in Jamaica? Yes. Okay, so you're not rigid. So, okay. Born in Jamaica. Uh -huh. You get me? And yeah. what time, um, at what age did you forward to England at that time? I came to England when I was um, 11. Okay, so your early memories of Jamaica, what can you remember? Whether it's got nothing to do with music or anything, but yeah. the, the, just the, the island of Jamaica, what do you remember at them times? Uh, it's the best place, the best, the best things, the best food, the best, you know, weather, everything mm -hmm. is like, you notice when people come here, everybody bars and they want to go back home. So you get me? So <laughs> yeah. everything about Jamaica is uh -huh. the best. You get okay, me? So, then, so, so then you landed at the age of 11. Mm -hmm. What was that experience like landing in England, coming from Jamaica? Even though it was a young age, mm -hmm. I mean, like, it must have been a shock factor. What, 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 of, what happened? Yeah, most definitely. Cause when I reached here, it was close to the winter time. Uh -huh. You get me? And for so people like us, where we're in the sun 24-7. Like, you know, when you feel at first cold breeze you're like whoa mm -hmm. you get me and it was close to the winter and i'm like boy i don't know how me I got, you get me mm -hmm. and survive this and back then time there when snow used to fall snow used to fall yeah you mad. get me door <laughs> used to lock and you can't come out so uh -huh. it was definitely an experience to be fair but you get me you just have to soldier out because we, we, we all come to england for the better life you get uh -huh. me so it's uh -huh. one of them ones where you just have to adapt to it yeah so you landed now mm -hmm. um where does your musical sense come in, like inside the UK? If you, if, at what time do you think, you know what, 
Mm-hmm. We're gonna fast forward a l- quite a bit because yeah. you, was, you was quite long, young then. Mm-hmm. Um, when was the time where you said, you know what, I'm liking this music thing. You know, I want to step into this kind of th- this 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 industry. Where it all started, um, I don't. You must know um, Rockers Roadshow. Mm-hmm. Mikey was a good friend of my mom's, and I grew up around him. And obviously, he was doing his thing as well. So when he used to do like parties, and I used to be there. And when you must string up the box them and all these things, I was like, you know, this this is kinda when pe you hear people talk about, you know, them, them they were born to be in music, like you could feel it. Mm. You get me? And at an early age I was like, you know what? I'm interested in music, like, you know, yeah. the way music like listen to reggae and all these things, everything used to connect. Mm. And I then started to do my own thing where I wanted to start playing music myself. Mm-hmm. The early stages I was listening. And like just just analyzing, but then I started to say, you know what, I want to play music. Mm. And and who was inspiring? Uh, um, apart from Mikey, who else was inspiring you at that time? Was there anybody else that was on the radar that you was like looking up to and saying? Not necessarily yeah. on the radar, but I used to just listen to like song clashes. Mm-hmm. You know, like the bass side. This is the Stone Love and them kind of things there. Car, I weren't really looking out for anyone in particular. Uh, yeah. in particular. But I just wanted to do my own thing, so I weren't really analyzing anyone to say I want to be like them. Mm-hmm. I just felt like I want to do it yeah. for my, you know, for my own experience. So, so was there was there anything anymore? Because for the people who don't know, uh, you as a part of the Ecstasy family, mm-hmm. um, was there anything going on prior to that before you joined Ecstasy, or was Ecstasy like the first kind of thing that you went straight onto? Yeah, Ecstasy was the first step into like the sound system kind of world for myself. Yeah. Of course, I, mean, I used to do my own thing. Like I used to do like house parties and all of these things on my own. Mm. And then I had a friend that had a link with Ecstasy, and then we made a link. But even before then, mm-hmm. I was at the Ecstasy party, then the Saga Fridays. Okay, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So them man never noticed that I was really there because they didn't know me personally. Them right. time, then. okay. More time Prince did, cause Prince <laughs> had you know we all got friends of each other. And yeah. Them time, then, but the rest of the man them never really knew me like that, but. Mm. From from Swagger Friday start, we used to be there every Friday where we could where we could reach, mm-hmm. and we would uh, listen. I was like some people would go there for the partying, mm. but you know, as a, as a personal that listen to music, you would go there to hear how the man them a play. You would hear all the other man them there, like you know, Dems and Platinum, and there was a yeah. lot of different selectors there. Yeah. You get me? So yeah. it was an all round party where I was trying to listen at the same time trying to party as well because yeah. I knew I wanted to play music so mm-hmm. Saga Friday was really kind of my little place where I would listen to how the man that I play back then mm. and it was a good experience until and, then, and then how did that connection work with ecstasy when was that when, when was that thing where it was like oh I'm on ecstasy so my bridging we got DJ pretty him, him they have a link with Yardy mm. Yardy K at the time and then he he set up the link and then he, he Basically, me and him was going to try and take on the road by ourselves. Yeah. They get me, but then he told me he had a link with Ecstasy and he made a link with Yardy and we had a little meeting and, and whatnot and he, he said, obviously, if you want to, you know, join the zone and you get me, try mm-hmm. and see what it's like to be, be around the sound system. And I was yeah. like, you know, it's, it's, it's not, not a bad thing, mm-hmm. you get me? And it was a good experience, very yeah, good experience. Yeah, because... When I when I look at DJ Ipes and the lot of people them who are, I speak to, you kind of remind me of. It kind of sounds a bit mad, but you remind me of the Dave Kelly mm. of Ecstasy because <laughs> when Ecstasy was clashing mm. and there was, there was on so many stages, we technically didn't see you. Mm. Like you was never at the forefront. Like we knew, oh right, we knew Prince, we knew yeah. Yardi K, we knew Marky G, we knew Zylo, we knew Ipes because yeah. we heard the dubs. It was like. Couple of people like yo, that brother, you ever see him? Could have put <laughs> he was like on some to, yeah. like Could have put the ghosting, the, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. So um, did you make it that your your personal business not to get so involved in in the clash kind of vibes? And mm. and again, as another question is, how much input did you have mm. when they was clashing mm. and you wasn't really like on the scene or as as focused or in? In the yeah. picture, if that makes sense. Around the time when I joined Ecstasy, of course, they, they, they had a few clashes before I joined the sound. So mm. they were more more sound clash active then. 
not to say that we fell off the scene or anything like that, but no. you know, the, the, every sound of a time when they're, they're fully active and sometimes you might, you know, draw back and you get me trying to analyze what the scene is like. So mm. there was a few, uh, I think the, 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 the major clash where I was at was at the tag team clash. Okay. The immortal and then, you know what I yeah. mean? So I, I was around um, to see what it is like to, to go into a clash. Mm. Um, but we, the, the clash scene never really kick off around the time period that we was there. Mm. We had big dances where we, we would go to and obviously play, but you know, like the one on one clash, them on them thing, yeah. they like, it, it never really ha- happened at the time still. Mm. So you get me, but I, I was around um, to obviously see how, you know, the prepare for the dub, the, the dub war, them, mm. you get me how the team used to prepare. That's one thing with ecstasy, like the preparation for dances, for clashes. Is, is top notch and everybody yeah. can obviously agree with that because you know when you see ecstasy step out you know what's a problem yeah. you get me the presentation and that's what we're trying to do for ourselves as well you get me yeah that's absolutely crazy man because like i says you were j- you 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 are somebody that was such a part of it mm-hmm. but we just we, we didn't see you on 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 the front line like mm-hmm. that um fast forward and, and to where you are now and because of all the works that you've done, and again, this is the reason why I do things like this, is, is to try and put the face to the name and do things. And over the years, I've heard you play. Mm-hmm. And I've seen you being in certain events. And I'm like, raw, okay, that's DJ Ipes. Mm-hmm. I see what's going on here. Over the years and to where you are now, and this is an honest question. Do you feel like people underrated your talent i don't know how to put it to be fair because let's say as this as he said a wally padas would play with ecstasy like people would even realize it's myself that's mm. playing ecstasy mm-hmm. i've heard it before like people would say right is you that playing they would, they would think is marky or something yeah so i wouldn't say underrated because sometimes you have to go out there to get your ratings you yeah. know what i'm saying so right now, this is what the new movements is really about right mm. now. Like, we're not, we're not, we're not, we're not really gonna beg for the ratings. We mm. know what we can do. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. As you see, Prince has put Wally for years in this music team. Mm-hmm. He has his respect out there. You get me? It's just for me to obviously keep up the levels and, and keep it moving. But we're not, we're not, I'm not really looking for no respect from nobody. You get <laughs> what I'm saying? Man. I'm just doing my thing. Yeah, yeah. And just keep it. You yeah. get me? Just so, so did you and Prince? link so i think so you and prince knew each other way before ecstasy mm-hmm. and then obviously prince you came on the sound when hypes was on the sound hype was hype, you was on you was already on ecstasy when prince came yeah prince right? was already there prince prince was there before so you me. came after you came after prince well after well after prince been there two years no way no, okay that's <laughs> mad now that's mad to, i thought you was i thought you was there longer than prince no you know? no no, no, no. Like Connor <laughs> okay yeah, i honestly yeah. thought you was there longer no, okay man. so that, so prince you came afterwards mm. um so okay then so playing ecstasy now yeah you see prince come along yeah what was your first thoughts on prince like like okay what what was what was your main thoughts you know, it's hard to say in, in, in words like, are you asking me until you're actually playing with Prince? Yeah. Because it's kind of like, if you're in a dance now and you play with Prince, all right, the, 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 the other selector don't play, you definitely know that Prince is going to get a vibe. <laughs> yeah. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You can see from the people, them as well. Yeah. If Prince got to a dance and the dance, everybody's sitting down, everybody have to get up. You get mm-hmm. me? That's the kind of kind of MC is. You get me? He gives that energy. You get me, so that well, you know, you know it go already. He's been doing it for a while, so yeah. Well, you know and likewise, you have as well, man. You mm. seem you seem very, very focused on the future of what's going on with new movements international. Mm-hmm. Um, like I said, your history is mad long. You know, we could be here all night uh, talking about the events mm-hmm. that you've been, the, the place that you played, but in terms of new movements international right now. Mm-hmm. Um, What's the future? How are you looking towards the future? And what are you going to do that's different from what is out there right now? Mm-hmm. Well, you know, obviously, it's, it's, it's a new setting for us right now. But right now, we're looking to to, 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 to brand ourselves out there and expose ourselves. You get me? We kind of get the people them familiar with the new with the new movements. Mm-hmm. 
um, obviously people already know the faces, they know the names from, from Ecstasy, but we, we're kind of building up, we're, we're building up, we're getting familiar, get the people them familiar with the names and the flyers, mm -hmm. the name from the dance, them, you get me? And then we just keep going, obviously, depend, you, you get me? The, it, there's a lot of different avenues you can go after, mm -hmm. you get me? It's early stages right yeah. now, but... We, we, we're just gonna obviously see what avenues you can go you, yeah you, you even, know, even it's though endless it, it always it always because I, I always kind of like say as much as you say like it's early days mm. your experience is so big yeah can you clearly must see that the avenues that you can take now mm -hmm. other sounds didn't take the opportunity mm -hmm. which makes it a lot more easy for you to just yeah. go of in course, and now course, and just yeah. super take the lead mm -hmm. so you get me like some of the events, then we, we probably not if we did do with ecstasy. We might obviously if you do certain events that we didn't do then. Mm -hmm. You get me? We we got different people that are reaching out now for different events that we probably didn't do for ecstasy as well. So yeah, you get, we we right now <laughs> we, we 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 we're fully booked out and we're just gonna keep going, man. Like mm. it's it's hard to say because it depends on you know promoters as well what kind of events they're putting on as well. Mm -hmm. We have to work with them. Yeah. But we're looking at big pictures when we're talking about a, a town, you know, the big stage. Mm -hmm. we, we, we're just going to be there. We're going to keep going. Well, it looks like you're on a mad journey mm -hmm. right about now. It looks like you're in a very good space, even though obviously the time and, and effort that you put with Ecstasy mm -hmm. was a really, really good look. Obviously, I spoke to Ecstasy, um, did an interview with them, mm -hmm. and they were like, yo, Ibs is a man, man. He's doing his thing. He's moved on, and everything's good. So clearly, there's no malice there or anything. Nah, man, nah, it's man. just a case of man just move yeah, on yeah, and, yeah, and yeah, move yeah. into a different yeah, direction. So, up, DJ Ibs, pick up yourself, man. I can clearly see this man is definitely on a mission. And there you go. I think I'm the first person to properly have the proper interview, like Boy. face to the to, yeah. to, to the juggling. <laughs> The best place to start, man. The best place to start. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna come yeah. back to you in a little while, you know, yeah, still. Man. But let's pass it over to Prince. Yeah. Prince, big up yourself, man. Big up yourself, I. <laughs> wow, how ha this journey is insane, when, right? When now. They are again, don't it? <laughs> yeah, don't like I was saying know. to the people, them, um, we had a, a really good conversation via Mixcloud on my podcast. It's a good hour and a half where you was you you gave like history, not only mm. on on your musical career, but as a man growing up in not only jamaica but inside the uk and it was a great great interview like i said i'm going to drop that link um in the video that we're doing right about now but i really want to just kind of like fast forward to right now and one of the main things then um, which everybody keeps talking about i, I, I messaged a couple of people i didn't put it out there <laughs> i only talk to people who talk sense I'm here, asking, we, Yo, here we go we have the interview with <laughs> prince and blah blah rare, rare. He goes, all right ask him what's going on with ecstasy and the reason why I say that because there's a lot of people who will say, okay, Prince has moved on. He's got a new, um, new movement international. He's doing things. He's playing out. And then there's other people then, like, let's, I'm just to be honest. Uh, the clash that Ecstasy had with Will Power, uh, you, was in the, you was in the event. There were people who were doing reviews and people calling me saying, Ecstasy need Prince and without Prince, nothing will go on and... Prince is going to have to come back and this and the other. And it was like, well, you kind of got to give a man the opportunity to say how he sees his thing. So where, where, where do you stand right now in terms of is there any chance or are we going to be seeing Prince do a new movement international? But if things get sticky and you want to defend back the sound that you used to play, is that something that you're going to be stepping into? Or is that just like a, it's it's it's... It's something that you did, you respect it, and you have to move on. Well, you know, as you know, ecstasy is my son. Mm. Like, four by four is my son. Like, me can't go anywhere to say that. Mm -hmm. Me invest uh, a lot of my time mm -hmm. and a whole lot of energy into the sound there. You understand? Since we joined the sound, even the dub box is like, the sound kind of build around me. Mm -hmm. So, you must know what I'm talking about. Like, it's, it's yeah. my sound. But, fast track from that, you know, what happened, happened. And, mm -hmm. I build a brand. Mm -hmm. That's, that is actually a brand now and it, it, it's, it's doing bits in the thing. Mm -hmm. And, where excess is concerned, I respect the man them. 
manners and respect to each and every one mm. in the ecstasy camp. But right now, my focus is on New Movement International. Mm -hmm. And there 100%. you go, people. That is it. There is nothing else to really go back <laughs> check on. The only thing I'm going to say to you, which I'm going to say, is um, somebody said, said, ask him this question. And the one question is, what was the best time, the best, the best moment that you, you said you had on ecstasy where you says, yeah, this, this, was a, this, this was one of them moments. Like, I used to play sound, and I can tell you moments where I had that moment with the sound. The moment that you had with ecstasy where he says, this was a good one. And it doesn't have to be the biggest dance in the world. It could have just been something that can may maybe pop in your head right now, be where you would always remember that moment with Ecstasy Family? Um, the biggest moment for me with Ecstasy 4x4 is when I went to Germany. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, as a young selector at the time, like, my bad pan juggling, but mm. when we got Germany for Clash against Jackpot Sound, because my bad pan juggling, me feel like it's a juggling and Clash are the same. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So when we got Germany, you know, me I try to give Germany the, the juggling vibes and you know, the clash vibes. I mean, you can integrate the two of them, but you have to, you have, to have a balance. Yeah. Me never get no balance. Mm -hmm. Me I try to get energy, energy, energy all through. And mm -hmm. me not trying to lie. My little part when I play another clash there, I flop. <laughs> so you see from this, you know, <laughs> I say, yo, you know, so I have to fix up my thing. Mm. And I got to the drawing board. Like, me's a music, me's a music, music fanat. Mm. When I leave my computer, me just there on my computer, just, ah, me don't me listen to ecstasy song. Like, me have ecstasy dub mix where like five, six hour long. Yeah. Once me step out of my house, that in my ears. Mm. You understand? Me play that dub mix there for the week, maybe uh, six, seven times, mm. just listening to that constantly. So, like, with ecstasy now, me know the dub box to the T because of them thing there. You know what I mean? So the the moment by moment by ecstasy mode I said for that because that that really turned the corner for me. Yeah. And make make me understand the logics of sound clash and mm -hmm. how sound clash really go. You right. know what I mean? And from there so you know what I mean, you know the thing go. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, man. That's crazy. Yeah. So uh, so remember it's T V sound system, select the hype live and direct. I hope we answer the questions. We can move forward now. And like, like we said, everybody can clearly see that there's no malice. Everybody's still doing their own thing. And we keep our thing moving extremely forward. And when we move our thing forward, I'm just going to ask the question, what is new movements? What is it? You can say it's a sound, but what is it on a whole? Can you break that the down to us? New Movement International, mm. you know what I mean? It's an organization. Okay. You know what I mean? It's a musical organization mm -hmm. with some serious members mm. that's looking to do not just musical stuff, we want, we want, do, we want to do non musical stuff as well. Yeah. You understand? We want to make this a brand where, you know what I mean, we can, we can branch off and do other things from yeah. the brand. Okay. You know what I mean? So when, when we leave Ecstasy and say, I'm going to build a brand, mm -hmm. you understand? We never did just a pre music alone. You understand? We have other ideas where we are integrated in the organization. Mm. You understand? And that is new movements at the moment. It's a very, very, very great idea. I'm glad for finally, for the amount of time I've been doing this, somebody's actually starting to talk about branding. I've been talking about this for years on top of years. I've seen Salman spend a lot of money on dub plate speakers, amps, this and the other, but not figuring out branding. So I really re appreciate the whole situation that you're doing with branding there's another thing that, which i'm going to keep on the musical things I'm, I'm sure you don't want to go too much into the other areas unless you want to talk about the other areas yeah, you don't go know, into. i'm open to any question okay well let's get let's get let's get the, the the musical part out of the way yeah man um you guys have come together and at the same time i'm kind of in a I'm in a space where I took myself out of the culture and I was just watching what was going on. And one of the key things that I've seen is when I seen you make the Facebook post, like say, yo, respect ecstasy, um, I'm going to move on and something's happening. I was like, okay, cool. First of all, I was shocked. I'm going to say that for a fact. I was definitely shocked because I thought Prince was hard on there, you know. And to where I was kind of thinking of where sound systems are going to come up, and the new sounds, I doubt you would even be able to match Prince. So Prince would have just been raining fire on all of these up-and-coming sounds, which would have made you 
one of the leading MCs and out there. The next thing that surprised me that was within three or four days, you had logo and flyers and you was out there super quick. I was like, whoa, this <laughs> man's got his team. <laughs> Do you know when somebody would leave a sound and, and then eight months later, they still can't do nothing? You know why? Within about two or three days, logo. Look at the movement. And then another thing that you did, sorry to cut you, was the way how you thank people for the mission that you did on ecstasy and invited them into what we can actually say is the new movement. Um, how planned and how strategic did you take that? Well, um, everything we had to know with new movement international was actually the plan mm -hmm. for ecstasy 4x4 that I had okay. for 2022. Mm -hmm. You understand? Because I actually had a meeting with them to say, yo, this is what I'm looking to do next year. And I showed them the plan. Mm -hmm. And, you know what I mean? The meeting went how it went. And I just decided, you know what? You know what I mean? Me still, I go with my vision. You know? Yeah. You understand? Because mm -hmm. I believe in our me, though. Mm -hmm. Saying? So I just went along with the vision. And it worked. Mm -hmm. Yes, brother. So that, that moved forward to where we are right now. Um, again, like I says, from that time you left ecstasy, to where you are now, I honestly can I can be super as honest. There's only another sound system who I've seen making crazy moves like this, and that's willpower. I've not seen somebody leave a sound and build a brand this quick. Um, why do you think people are appreciating what you're doing right now? Because you could have made the brand, you could have left, and people are like, mm, yeah, but well, so what? Well. Why are you people like so focused and, and why are you getting these bookings and why are you on like I tell you what so much <laughs> so much flies out there right now. All of my friends them can tell you. Not even me did mm -hmm. know that got happen so quick. Mm -hmm. You understand? I, I I I'm some all right, the other day I sit down and think about it and I cry eye water. Wow. Like tears just run down my eye. I say, yo, I can't believe say, my bill of brand way actually just take off so super fast. Mm -hmm. But it's the work ethic. Mm -hmm. It's the skills, you know what I mean? Because you asked him a question earlier on if he feel like he's underrated. I felt like he was underrated, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And I do this for him as a young youth because mm -hmm. me, me older than him, I mean, I do this a long time. Mm -hmm. I mean, I say, yo, I'm going to put in him the effort to push that youth because I see the talent in him. Mm. You understand? And then the things start to build up people them start gravitate to him. every dance we go we work extra hard shell the place mm -hmm. bring out the, the, the clothing bring out the at them everything mm -hmm. you understand and promote the thing on the social media them because mm -hmm. promoting as well you know what i mean some people are doing the promoting wrong yeah you understand we have a formula to all we promote new movements mm -hmm. and it works you know what I mean? And every, the people, them, everybody gravitating to it. Mm. Like, the cars that I get, I get cars from some promoter where I never even dream they would have called me for your yeah. bookings. Mm. You understand? I got some city where I never go to play yet in yeah, my life. I've seen, I've seen, I've seen. And, and <laughs> that's, that's one of the things. Yeah, man. And um, like you says, like when you, when you didn't expect that to happen and it's happening, does that put more pressure on you? Now, when people, when you're getting these bookings and you're getting these, th these people are talking about um, new movements international, is that more pressure on you, or is it a case of you kind of you you kind of expected it, so you're going to run with the punches? Or, or no, to be sense. honest, it it motivate me a lot more mm -hmm. to put in the work rate, and let me tell every young selector this and. Every, every young MC, because I classify myself as an MC, but me as an MC, we do selector work too. Yeah. You understand? Because you have to help, everybody has to help each other. More time, I maybe can dead if you line up a juggling, I go yeah. up on the computer and line it up myself, mm -hmm. and then I just say, Yo, Ipes, these are the juggling when I line up, and he might say, You know, say, we need to drop a tune in it and where, where, where. You understand? So, but also the selector work as an MC. Yeah. You understand? I help out the selector mm. as well and make sure say yo everything organized and everything depend point. You understand? Mm. So them that combination there 
make the thing lock. Cause yo, homework man. Every dance, homework. Every well, dance, homework. Well, I gotta say, big shout out reaching out to everybody who's tuning in right about now. Hope you're listening and taking in. Uh, hopefully, you're taking in it like how I'm taking it is because I kind of really prepared myself. I prepare myself for everything, but at the same time, I really thought you guys were going to come here on just we are now going into the juggling scene and we're going to be DJs and we're going to be dominating that. How are you talking now in terms of branding and future business and when you says new movements is not just a sound or it's not just a juggling thing. Now my mind's blown in terms of, of, of future plans. Is there any plans in terms of collaborating with anybody who's inspiring you right now in terms of doing this kind of thing at the moment inspiration wise um we're kind of just building our own energy and mm. you know what i mean building building our own surrounding basically building also building a new fan base and everything yeah um at the moment inspirational wise not really yeah you understand we are trying to be different because sometimes when you look up to a man and listen to another sound and watch how them do them thing too much you start to copy what them are do mm. you understand so we are trying to just focus on what we want to do for new movements mm-hmm. and then execute the plan okay we have got new movements up inside the place like i says the branding is absolutely amazing i really re- i really love the way how you're really coming across with everything right now um, let's just have a little talk about music in general, especially the dance hall side of things, that's right. because that's where you kind of lead on that. Yeah. Um, and you've been coming from a clash era, like it's li- likewise hypes. You've been in that clash, that clash era. Um, what was the problem with the juggling scene not being able to fuse with the clash scene? So juggling scene, ram. Clash scene we're not barely seeing a hundred people you was on both sides of the thing you would go to a juggling dance slap it where then you go into a clash and you have that same energy that you want to give to the people then and there's nobody there what what do you think was a what is the issue between people not fusing the two together um i just think it's just the way how they clash them set up mm. you know what i mean the clash them set up a way where, you know what I mean, a lot of people don't want to go. Yeah. It, 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 it boring. Mm. You understand? And then, to me, for be, for people start go at the clash them, the selector them, where, where the, are you, as the so-called clash selector them, they need to be a, li- a bit more active in mm. the juggling world because that's where you're going to get your fans and cross them over in the clash, mm. clash world. You understand? Is that a hard thing to do? No, it's not a hard thing to do. Because there's very few who do it. And it's yeah. very... I always say, why, why can't these sound man cross over? Like, and they struggle. There's very few. Because a lot, of them, them, a lot of them know I'm the talent. Mm. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to be a tear down a man thing. Or rare, 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 but yeah. All of them select you know, I'm the talent. Brother. Mm-hmm. You understand? And the girl no want to see them. Yeah. They're not on a style. You understand them going at the juggling scene and you know what I mean them are trying to play a dub plate and them thing there mm. when you have five hundred girls in front of them who uh, wind up them skin and rare, rare, rare. so you have to you have to know you have to differentiate the two things. Mm-hmm. You understand? Me see man in a in a in a juggling dance, I call up some name, yo, the boy the disc <laughs> And the girl them just a look on them and say, Yo, play some whining song, man. Play two yeah. dovey diamond and I can't play them. You get me I say two decks that make the girl them go and wind up them ways, but Mm. Instead of them, I think about war, so you know, what I mean, that's why nobody not really want to come see them for a uh, 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 clash dance as a whole movement. Would clash be something that y- you'd, you'd implement in part of your brand, or is that something that you would stay clear from at the moment? I'm not looking to clash at the moment. We are we, we want to be a predominant juggling zone, mm-hmm. but one and two cocoa soon start going out basket. <laughs> So I think it's already started. <laughs> for some for some reason, somebody's telling me that it's already started already. Like I don't think two men who who are that experienced haven't got nothing like I haven't have a cup around there. Come so on. yeah, we're well, go not going to say anything, but <laughs> I'm sure well, I'm guy, sure it's most definitely you know, there. Man. In our future, I uh, even know even with just the forty five, if a guy yeah. get bright, you know what I mean, I'm mean, gonna deal with him. Uh-huh. I don't know me the microphone king, you know. 
Well, this, is, this feeling. is just an amazing kind of vibe that I've got with you guys right now. And like I said, the kind of the main thing was speaking to DJ Ipes. We got Prince up inside the building. You've seen what it is, people. Check it out. Like I said, they have their own. They came. They came. <laughs> they set up their team. We got the snapbacks. We got the T-shirts. Obviously, winter time come now. You got to do the hoodie si- situation. Oh, we're up, we're up Yo, I've been doing clothing for a long time, yeah. so I know seeing this is so. It, it means a lot to people, me. People, let me tell the people them this. Just let me just, just say it means a lot to me because I've been doing clothing for like eleven years, and it's so hard to to break out in the clothing thing because when you have your own merchandise and you're in a environment where it's people want to show off on Balenciaga and, and they want to wear the polo and they want to wear the, the you now put yourself in a clothing situation and to do what you're doing right about now I think it's, it's such it's such a really really good look so I, I really wish you the best on that side of things man it's going to be crazy it's good man um you know, we can't step out in the same clothes them all the time. Exactly. When initially when me I buy the the, 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 the merch them, about about forty piece. Mm-hmm. Twenty for hypes, twenty for me. Mm-hmm. So you must know say so some serious money spent on, yeah. on, on the branding. Uh-huh. You understand? So people soon start getting the girl them something you know, so ladies and I soon can message me when I get you know on a, on a, I will not charge you no know, either, you know, we are going for free. Wow. And that's, the, and, that's, and that's how you do branding, man. It's, it's crazy. Yeah, man. It's crazy. So we got New Movement International. I think I'm going to wrap it up, man, quickly, you know, because I think, I think we've said what we had to say. We want to keep yeah. it nice and exclusive. But pass the mic over to DJ Ipes because I wanted to do something different. Mm-hmm. I'm going to work with each other, okay? So I'm going to do, because you're New Movements, Yeah. we're going to balance new and old, yeah. okay? So you have to work with me with this one. Whatever comes through your head, for, I'm going to say two scenarios. One's new, one's old. You have to tell me which one you prefer. Okay. okay. So, first of all, DJ Ipes, vinyl or controller? I'd say controller for myself. <laughs> for myself. Person, obviously, it's my era. Yeah. But obviously, you can't go around the vinyl still. <laughs> all right. You know. Prince, what would you say? They might beat me for this. <laughs> but... Controller. <laughs> Controller. Wow. You see all these things. Now we're moving into a new era. Yeah. So man will say, Vi- vinyl and don't know. Never touch a vinyl in your life. All right. If, you don't have an, if you've not experienced it, you just don't all know right. about it. Great, great, great answer. Okay, the next one. 90s or 2000s? 90s, definitely. Definitely. Yeah, you don't know what's the other body's era. 90s? <laughs> okay, the next one. We're going to go. And this is because you got your branding as well, you know. Yeah. And I got my branding, click suit or Balenciaga. I have to go with this suit, man. <laughs> after, after. Oh, me and Feeman said they're my matchups. I guess what I think. After me, right there. Yeah, man, you don't know how the suit, how the suit, man. Straight. Yeah. Okay. And then as we fast forward, we're going old and new. Mm. Buy one drink or buy a buckle? You know, for the movement, can we roll out with our team? You know, we're going to do our buckle settings. <laughs> yeah, man. Um, straight buckle settings. It's always about the buckle right yeah. now. Modern day Not times. all the time, but you know, when the team out. Yeah. Yeah. It's one of them ones yeah. there. Okay, the next one. Just pull up the tune or money pull up? Why? <laughs> nah, I run for the money pull up, you know. <laughs> nah, man, we, we do what we have to do, you know. Uh-huh. We do what we have to do, but you get me? Men I like the money pull up thing. Elaborate. The money more. good mm-hmm. when they get it, but it mash up dance. Mm-hmm. Do you want to elaborate a little bit more on that? Let me tell the people. Let like me tell the people. Them. Sometimes yeah. when they go to dance and they dance boring, mm. cause some man I play for money pull up. Them now play to the dance. Them I play for get money pull up. Yeah. So them now look upon where the dance need. Them now really dance and say yo, you know, say that juggling at the dance need. Mm. Them I play some song so some man can throw down money give them. Hmm. You understand, like a strip club, them they are something yeah. like that. <laughs> so it's a mash up the dance, they yeah. may understand. So DJs, I don't have enough for making the money, but think about the patrons, they may pay them money for coming at the dance, them. Okay. You understand? I entertain them Can before money pull up. Just b- before that, right? Just for the sake of it, what's the biggest money pull up you've had? <laughs> have you ever counted it? I'll go first, well, right? Honestly, my biggest money pull up was £90. 
Wow. <laughs> and lily. I was gassed. I was like, what the hell's going on here? That lily. <laughs> and I'm going to say, like, that's raw. Like, and it's never happened again. We have it a never girl. happened. It happened that one time. That was it. Is there we any one where you says, holy. We got a girl Chester a um, couple months ago. Uh, you know what I mean? And it was close enough to her grand. Wow. Okay. On the board, man. Yeah, man. Holy it is what it is, man. It, 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 it happens real life. That's what yeah, we're saying. You know, no, nobody's not showing up on anybody. When it, it happens. When the juggling get nice, me see a man with a knapsack on him back, full of money start to dash money on the board. Wow. And my friend boasts away and I feel I take up all the money because the money I, I cover the controller. I just can't even mix. Crazy. <laughs> okay. Yeah, man. Crazy, crazy. Oh, man. Okay, the next one that we're going to go into is MySpace or Facebook. Straight Facebook, you know. <laughs> Facebook, you know, my space around the place. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that really? Yo, my space used to act. Yeah, but you look like a Facebook around the place right now. But uh -huh. Yeah, my, my space did good too. But my, space, my space, a one year, a one year. Too. Yeah, it was a, a, year a last, few years it lasts. Uh -huh. Yeah, a Facebook around the place. Okay, the last one I'm going to say is Sting or Dream Weekend. Sting, of course. Of course. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, girl, I'm there. I just saw me there, you know, so. <laughs> man, I got to say Dream Weekend, you know. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Yeah, man, straight Dream Weekend right now. So, yeah. people, we're going to wrap it up just like that. That's what we do. TV Sound System Selector Hype. Like I said, my videos are few and far apart, but when I drop a video, I drop a video that makes sense. Thank you going out to the New Movement family. X amount of things are going to go on right about now. We've got Bosey Wayne Promotions, Spring Lip, Spring Bring, Spring Bling. Let's make Bring it proper. Bling. He's inside the building. Yeah, man. I think he could. I think, watch out for something. Yeah. We're going to get you around here, man. Yeah. I need these exclusive Yeah, man. At the biggest ear to ear event, mm -hmm. you understand, we keep which new movements are fully a part of yeah. the Spring Bling team. Mm -hmm. And, you know what I mean? When you talk about new movements, I it. You see me as a Can we get Spring him? Bling. The Can girl, them thing. Bring every it. April. Yeah. You understand? Mm -hmm. Every April, the dance happens. The annual dance in Birmingham. You understand? It a going a spring out. bring happened in Wolverhampton. Yes, mate. Okay, we're going to get the pro Yeah, we're going to see if we're going to try and get him. Let's see if we can get him on. If, if not, Everybody. Big Up Bosey, Wayne Promotion, Spring Bling has been one of the biggest things. That was one of the first places. I'm going to have to talk the, talk the things. Yeah, it happened man. in Wolverhampton. It was in... It was in Diamonds, the old Diamonds. Diamonds Banqueting Suite. Yeah, that was man. the one place when I went in there and I says, holy, what is going on here? It yeah, was a man. movie. Yeah, that man. was the first time I was, I was, in, I was in a full-on dance or dancing and all them things. Yeah, so man, you not get nothing less than, than 70, 800 people, man, yeah. every year. You see what I say? So big up both Sue and Panda, uh -huh. they don't know. Brother. Away from that future plans and anybody want to big up before you're out of here? Yeah, man, I want to big up the team. You understand? Oh, I'm big up the team, big up DJ Ipes, my selector. You understand? Mm -hmm. You don't know people. I'm DJ Prince, for who never know. If you're watching this for the see me for the first time, I'm DJ Prince, aka the microphone king. Big up DJ Loader, also a selector where they're not the radar where they're on the team. Mm -hmm. Where you know what I mean might be integrated into the whole thing new movement thing in the future big up the general Arville anyway I'm there in the world because Arville say yo the thing I forgot on a different level you know so the coke of them as me say so forward in the basket the general I go make sure so that one you understand big up both the win and the full works big up all of the fans them big up all of the promoter them where I book we from since we try we, we push out the new movements and thing you don't know manners and respect. Big up yourself too, Mark Smith. We're outside, fam. <laughs> Select type. You interview them is thank always. Thank you, you, you so you much, man. It's been so You know what? It's, it's you are a very professional brother, man. I like how you do your interview, I'm, I'm, man. I'm more professional when I deal with people who are professional as well. Yeah, man. It yeah, makes yeah. everything just balance out very simple and very neatly and very clear. I'm going to have another interview with you 100% in the future just to see the movements of what you're doing all about now. Like you said, it's a new movement. Yeah, because the, the plan we have for next year, you definitely are going to need, yeah man, you're going to want another interview because the yeah, plan for next year, I got mad. 100%. Trust yeah. Thank you so much. People like, comment, share, subscribe and you know what it is, TV Sound System, new movements. We're out. Yeah, man, One, thank peace. You, bro. Mad.